morning it's saturday december 23rd i got a new vlog up this morning was working on that uh, got that published was listing a few items and relisting a few others uh, now it's time to get into that photo station to decide what i'm gonna list today let's take a look so this is the first thing i want to list today this little easter set of dishes been sitting here i've been procrastinating on it i think today is the day to get this thing photographed and listed. So I'm gonna do that. A nice box here ready to pack it all up once I get it photographed. All the packing paper that uh, I took it apart um, so that I can get it uh, photographed. There's a lot of nice uh, detail to this uh, unit. Um, it's got uh, this little set, I think it's 25 pieces. It's got the floral accents as well as these bunny designs. Pretty cute, perfect for Easter. Not sure if you can see that there, but it's a Holiday Home set of dishes. Holiday Home is the brand on this. So that dish set is one that I'm going to get photographed and listed, but I also have a few other items laid out here ready to get photographed. i got a few shoes out here that I'm going to get uh, going on today. This is a pair of uh, tread safe dress shoes, perfect for work. Uh, a couple Vox. Brand new flats, kind of women's flats. They still have the price tag on them there. Not sure if you can see that, but uh, size style 37 is what they are. Then I got some kind of rough athletic shoes. I'm gonna get these listed uh, nice and cheap, get them ready to sell. Um, pair of Adidas, some Skechers, and some Nikes. I'm also gonna add to the media section. I've got five uh, videos set out here, DVDs. Let me show you. Actually, three of them are DVDs. We got No Country for Old Men, Clash of the Titans, and The Watcher. And then down here, we got a couple Blu-rays. This is The Tourist with Angelina Jolie and Johnny Depp, and then The Hunger Games. That's a two-disc Blu-ray that includes the Blu-ray and a digital copy. So a couple media items here, those are quick listers, get those photographed and listed today. And then if I get all that done, I do have a couple pairs, three pairs actually, of more high-end uh, sneakers set out here. Let me show you those. So this set of three here, this is a pair of Nike um, cleats, football cleats. And then we have a pair of Asics running shoes and this pair of Converse high tops. So that th three pairs of shoes I'll also be uh, working on today. So it looks like these holiday sales continue to go slow. Just one order last night from the big store. I have over 4,000 items listed and just one order. Let me show you what sold. One order for $11. So here's what sold overnight. A pair of Perry Ellis Gray Man's athletic shorts, uh, sweats rather, pants. Keyword pants, men's large solid size 31 waist by 27 inseam. So just one order for $11 shipped, a pair of sweatpants, Perry Ellis. All right, there they are, a pair of Perry Ellis sweatpants. All right, I got that order packed up and now I have some fresh inventory photographed, ready for me to list, let me show you. I've got all these shoes here. I added this, this is a little wine set, a um, little wine opener with a special holiday flair to it with the red um, accents, accessories I guess they would be. Over here I have a stack of DVDs and Blu-rays, so that's what I'm going to get started on this morning. So I'm going to start with those Blu-rays and DVDs, go on to the shoes, and then that wine set, that uh, wine opener set, and then I'll post those Easter dishes. Hopefully I can get it all up this morning. All right, I got all the CDs listed. Now I'm working through the shoes, making some progress. Still got these three, two pair of shoes and that wine set left to do. Sales have been non-existent in the big, big store. Uh, another slow, slow day. I guess it's that Christmas slowdown again. Just logged into the small store. We had a couple sales and one offer. Let me show you. There it is, one offer. Let's take a look. They're offering $12 on a 1999 polo shirt. I think I paid $5 for it. So that's double my money. I think I'm going to take it. All right, I just invoiced them for that sale. Well, with sales so slow, sometimes um, I'm quick to take an offer like that. Even if it's only double your money, uh, still profit is profit. So uh, let's see what's sold. There you see it, two sales for $33.28. 
First item sold for $16.75. It's a pair of Quicksilver dress shorts, flat front, gray, extra large, 38 waist by 10 inch inseam, cotton. Second item sold for $16.53. It's a large long sleeve par 4 red men's cotton pocket turtleneck t-shirt. So I took a little break to eat some dinner, came back and we had two more orders while I was eating. So that's always a good thing to come back to. Let me show you the other two items. So instead of two, we got four items for $68.09. 68 dollars for four more items. The first of those items sold for $18.65. This was that Nike Golf uh, polo shirt that I told you about. An XXL Nike Dry Fit Red and White Solid Men's Polo Shirt. Short sleeve polyester. The other item was a recent listing. Uh, listed this on December 19th. It sold for $16.16. .16. It's an extra large Nike Swim Black Dry Fit Polyester Short Sleeve Athletic T-Shirt. That t-shirt had a little split in the seam where they removed the tag, so I priced it a little less than usual. Alright, I'm going to go pull those orders from inventory. There they are, four orders for $89 and some change. Let's get some shipping labels on them. Alright, I got those four orders packed up and four new listings posted into the store. A couple nice denim shirts, one Wrangler, one Gap couple other items let me show you here's a look at three of the four listings I did tonight we got these two pair of shoes here these are Vox flats kind of those ballet slipper type of uh, style and then the second pair was this pair of black Adidas those are the um, what do you call them cloud foam running shoes um, price those $14.97 and $10.99 there's one of those denim shirts, that's the Wrangler. Uh, the other one is the Gap. This one is a little bit lighter and heavier, uh, heavyweight, and the other one was more lightweight and darker in color. After listing those denim shirts, I got curious, so I thought I would check out the sell-through rate on denim shirts these days. Let's take a look. I did a search of keywords XL denim dress shirt, and it turns out there's 3,100 listings currently up. Of those 3,100, only 384 have sold in the last 90 days. So it looks like that uh, denim shirt market, XL denim shirts, 3,100 listing and listed it and only 384 have sold in the last 90 days. Looks like that market is kind of saturated. Uh, 384 is a pretty low number considering uh, the number that are out there. That uh, demand is not really there for denim shirts, I guess, like it used to be. I guess the good news is that 248 of the 384 did sell for over $20. So if you're looking to flip from a $5 investment into a $20 investment, that opportunity is still there. They are selling for good money when they do sell. There's just a lot of them out there on the market. There's a look at the two that I listed so you can kind of see the different colors of them. Uh, one light blue, one dark blue, one Wrangler, one Gap. I listed mine for $19.99 and $19.97. That's a little trick that I heard in a podcast. You know, if there's um, so many people trying to get that $19.99 and uh, you want to be higher in the search results, why not just drop it a couple cents? I mean, what does a few cents make a difference? It doesn't make much difference uh, in a couple cents in the sale price, but it can get you a higher rating in the search results. So I'm trying that a little bit more. Most people do that $19.99 uh, price point, so why not try $19.97 and put yourself ahead of them? That's kind of the idea behind it. So I think I'm going to log back into the big store, get this little wine set and the dish set listed in there, and then probably call it a night. It's almost about 8 o'clock now, so that'll take me a little while to get those up there and uh, get those finished up. And then uh, we'll call it an evening. All right, there it is, success. Here's a look at that 25-piece dish set. Finally got it up. Took me a while. Um, got the picture's taken this morning. There they are, not looking too bad. And nice set of dishes right there. There's the big main photo. So I posted it up for $149.97, hoping that I'll find a buyer for the dish set sometime 
in the near future uh, put some different sh shipping options I decided to add FedEx and uh, UPS since those are chip cheaper rates than the USPS rate um, hopefully that will lead to a sale and of course I do accept best offers so they can always make a lower offer than what the list price is probably mark it on sale right away and uh, see how it goes here's that other listing I was gonna put up I got it up it's a new wild eye designs nine piece wine set bottle opener two bottle stoppers and six charms alright it's a little after nine o'clock now I wanna thank everybody for tuning in to watch um, this vlog I'm gonna be spending some time with family on uh, Christmas Eve and then return home Christmas Day but I'm hoping to keep these vlogs going throughout the holiday hope everybody out there has a great holiday and will uh, a new year as well we'll catch you on the next one bye